थ्री प्लस टू नमो दगवत हर तो सोदस नमो दगवत हर तो सोदस नमो दगवत हर तो सोदस Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> okay, before we talk uh, today's session, I want to start with a uh, question. As by one of the students, uh, she requested that uh, to answer the question uh, in the class, so that uh, uh, everyone can benefit. The question is: uh, In Abhidharma, we have a uh, there are five type of consciousness that produce a smile in our hands. So Arahant's mind with the five type of chaitas. Uh, the first one is smile producing chaitas from rootless chaita, right? And we have a four great functional consciousness. So normally, uh, functional consciousness. Normally, Arahant's mind with these one of the five uh, smile producing chaitas, and uh, among them. Under functional chaitas, how can arahant's mind without knowledge? Uh, among the four functional uh, chaitas, we have a four type, right? Four type accompanied by joy, but uh, without knowledge or with the knowledge. How arahant's mind without knowledge? So I think that, uh, I have talked. Uh, when I was uh, teaching in uh, the first chapter, so I think it, this is a bidama. So a bidama trying to uh, how to say systematize, how to say uh, as you all know we have a four type of ocean, uh, great ocean chaita. Just like that we have a four type of uh, great functional chaita. For that reason. Uh, at that time, I discovered that uh, as the Arahant and the Buddha, they may have uh, uh, their actions all the time accompanied by knowledge. Nyana sambhyoda, nyana sambhyoda, may not be uh, how to say dissociated from knowledge. And then uh, this is a how to say uh, how to say problem with the. A bit dilemma. There's a very, how to say, very sad problem. I think. I don't know. Uh, some people uh, interpret in such a way. You know, when Arahan opens the door without thinking anything, is it without knowledge? When Arahan or the Buddha do something without thinking anything, and that is without knowledge. <laughs> you know, some. Uh, uh, Some teacher explain in such a way. I think uh, so. Wherever Arahant and the Buddha, whatever they do, whether they are opening uh, the door or eating the food or whatever they are talking, so I think uh, company should be accompanied by knowledge. So I think here. So sorry that I don't have, I don't have this question. <laughs> Maybe uh, according to some teachers, they say that sometimes Aram may do something without thinking anything, that that uh, without knowledge. What do you think? In the fact uh, in the chaita, I also discussed this one. 
Okay, so this is the first question. And second one is, uh, she want to know about um, uh, temperature bone element. Temperature bone element. Actually here, uh, page number 250, page number 250. The first one, temperature as a motor origin. Temperature, sometimes we translate as weather or temperature, the same. Utu in Bali. The fire element, which comprises both cold and heat. I think that is very important, which comprises both cold and, cold and heat. So even though we use day or fire, actually when we talk about fire in our mind, we think that it's very hot. <laughs> so according to Abhita, according to Buddhism, here day or me, fire me, both cold and heat. So when you touch, when you touch, uh, how do you say, ice. So you will experience very cold sensation. So that is the Jodadu, fire element, fire element. But of course, actual fire has a lot of, a lot of fire element. For that reason, it's very hot. And also, uh, even in the, um, uh, in the ice, so a lot of the Jodadu, a lot of fire element. For that reason, it's very cold. So I think, uh, we have to understand in such a way. Fire element me not very uh, not hot one, both cold and hot. On reaching its state of present. So reaching its state of present me uh, at the moment of rebellion, at the moment of arising set moment, gamma bone material phenomena arises. At the moment of presence or the rebirth linking consciousness, the uh, to fire element arises. So the reason is fire element or temperature, uh, uh, temperature upon, uh, tempera sorry, temperature upon material phenomena. So they are matter. So as we said uh, in our, uh, last week, um, the matter are uh, strongest at the moment of presence. For that reason, at the stage of presence of the rebirth linking consciousness, uh, temperature bone material phenomena start to arise, start to arise. On reaching a stage of present, produce according to circumstances, both internal and external material phenomena not only internal one, but also external, uh, originating from temperature. I think she wants to know th this one. So I think uh, it's important to know that fire element meet not only heat, but also cold. It's very important. <clears throat> okay, today let's study today's lessons. Now we are going to uh, grouping of matters, grouping of matters. So in the uh, Rupa, we have five sessions. So this is the fourth one, grouping of matters. Material phenomena do not occur singly, but in groups known as Rupa Kalaba. So we have learned that there are 28 type of material phenomena. They do not arise singly. So as we have learned, uh, Eight type of inseparable matters. So at least we have eight material phenomena that cannot be separate. Here, uh, we are going to learn the grouping of matters. So they do not occur uh, singly, but they will arise in groups. So they are known as Rupa Kalaba. So we have a, uh, three characteristics of matter. Number one, all material phenomena in a group, a 
arise together. All material phenomena in a group, especially at least eight material phenomena, are in Rupa, the inseparable matters. They arise together, they cease together, they have a common base. They have a common base. Here, common base means four great essentials. Wherever material phenomena arises, so they have common base, four great essentials. Even the four great essentials, they arise and depend on each other. It fire element arises, uh, it depends, it arises depending on other material, uh, other uh, four great essentials. So here, they have a common base me, four great essentials. So I think these characteristics are very important. So as a Buddhist, so normally in the Pali Canon, in many sodas, and you will see that uh, uh, people, some people think that uh, the rupa or matter is soul. They are the same. So as you all know that soul, uh, the idea of soul is permanent entity. So the Buddha want to say that rupa or matter is not soul. They arises, they cease. Arises, they cease. The nature of impermanence. And they have a common base. And some people think that uh, uh, feeling is a soul. Perception is a soul. Volition information. And some think that consciousness. So these are actually, uh, we have learned that nama rupa, they arises, they cease. But here also, the matter, material phenomena, three characteristics. They arise, they cease. At least uh, eight avinivoka rupa, eight inseparable matters, they arise together, they cease together, they have a common base. Just like a, uh, a mental factor. <coughs> We have a 20 groups, 20 groups. So they are called Kalapa. Actually, Kalapa in Bali is similar to Clap. Manchester United Clap. As in a Clap. <laughs> they are together, right? They are in group. Very similar, very similar. So there are 21 groups. Uh, Number one, groups, kalapa, produced by karma. So we have a nine kalapas produced by karma. We have a six kalapas produced by cheta. And we have a four kalapas produced by utu, temperature. We have a two kalapa produced by ahara. So all together, 21. So all the 28 material phenomena are, you know, classified into 21 groups. So before we learn uh, nine kalapa produced by gamma, so let's, we have to uh, go back to 18 matters born of gamma. 18 matter born of gamma that we have already learned. Page number 2467. 247, we already right. <laughs> Five sensitive matters are born of karma. Two sexual phenomena, heart base, light faculty. So all these nine matters are exclu exclusively born of karma. They are born of karma, purely born of karma. And eight inseparable matters also born of karma, but they, uh, sorry, uh, space, space, space element, these three are born of four causes. 
including gamma for constants. So if you know this set A T, I think you will understand how to classify into group. Very easy. Very easy. So look at the first five. Five sensitive matters. I, right? I will I. I sensitivity. So we have a eight inseparable matters. So these eight cannot be separate. So it will include every uh, every group, every club. For that reason, I and we have uh, eight inseparable matters. We have a nine. Then we include another one, light faculty. So light faculty is very important. Without that, the material phenomena will not uh, will not survive. So light faculty is very important. Ion sensitivity, light faculty, and eight inseparable matters altogether ten. That's one group. That's one group, right? Very one group. Then after. Ear sensitivity, ear, light faculty, and eight inseparable matters. Altogether, ten. That is one group. So actually, the space element is not included in the group club. So actually, uh, in the club, in the group, there is no space, according to Vidama. We have eight material phenomena in one club, sometimes nine, sometimes twelve, sometimes at least eight. So there are a cluster of material phenomena. Among these group, there is no space in between. So they com they combine, they, they are combining each other. But uh, one group and another, there is a space. Between one and two group. Between the group, there's a space. So for that reason, space element is not counted as a group because it's outside of the group. So here we can understand that uh, within the group, within the club, sometimes eight material phenomena grouped together. There's no 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 uh, no space in between. But uh, between one group and another, between uh, two groups, there's a space. For that reason, we can say that uh, space element cannot be counted as a group. It's out outside of group. For that reason, here, ion sensitivity, light faculty, eight inseparable matter, one group, ear sensitivity, and light faculty, eight inseparable matters, altogether ten. One group. Now we have a two group. Eye, ear, nose, ten, body, five. We have a five group. Then we have a two sexual phenomena. Here also, we have to divide into two uh, uh, femininity and masculinity, right? So, as a as a male, as a male, so masculinity and light faculty. Light faculty is very important. Without this, nobody survives. So femininity, light faculty, and eight inseparable matter. Altogether, ten. One group. Another one, the femininity, light faculty, and eight inseparable matter. Ten. This is also one group. Now how many group? Seven, right? Uh, this one is five, right? I, ear, nose, ten, the body. Here, two sexual phenomena all together, seven group. But here we have a heart base. And we have a heart, heart for the heart base, and light faculty, and eight inseparable matter. All together, ten. Now eight, eight group. Yeah, we have a uh, light faculty, Jiwita Ruba, and light faculty and eight inseparable matter, altogether nine, not ten, only nine. So altogether, how many group? How many group? Nine. <laughs> I mean, 
easier for you to, to count. Otherwise, if you just go uh, directly, you cannot, you cannot remember like this. Very easy, you don't need to memorize. Just, if you know 18 meters, Bono Kama, you can call. So we have a nine group, nine Kalapas, Bono Kama, uh, five sensitivity, and then I, I, uh, I, light faculty, eight inseparable matter, 10. And e are also the same thing, 10, 10 rupa, and nose, uh, 10 body, and masculinity, and femininity, half base, all these are called 10. Then, light faculty have to combine with the eight inseparable matter. So all together, nine. Only nine. A senior setup. A senior setup. Uh, how do you say the, uh, how do you say the, rebut linking. Rebut linking matter. Actually, it's not a consciousness. Re rebut linking in the Asenya Sata, non percipient realms. So, uh, light faculty and eight inseparable matter. These nine Kalapa are like rebut linking in the Brahma, Asenya Sata Brahma. So, uh, we have an eight uh, group of Kalapa uh, produced by camp. I mean, if you just know this one, very easy, very easy. Can you call? Chakku, actually, uh, I is Chakku. Tesakami, uh, actually, Begu use you, uh, uh, we know that. Have to, have to go and see. That. The I in Dikat, Dikat, right? The I in Dikat. So that me, uh, so there are 10 group of matters together with the I. That's called Chakuta Saka. Light faculty, eight in separate the I sensitivity altogether 10. So these are called the I in decay, Chakuta Saka. And the same thing, ear, ear decay, Sota Saka. The same thing, the nose, sorry, no, nose, I know I see nose. Nose decay, Gana Saka. And the 10 decay, Jinwa Tesaka. 10. And the body decay, Gaya Tesaka. Uh, all these are called uh, five sensitivity. Right? Five sensitivity. <clears throat> then the female decay, 80 Tesaka. Light faculty, 8 inseparable, and femininity. The May decay, Pom Bawata Seka. Pom Bawata Seka. Um, May decay. Let me, uh, let me of uh, um, masculinity, light faculty, and eight in Number eight, the heart based decay. Heart based light faculty, eight in Number nine, the vital no no, only nine, no no, no net, right? No net, no net. Jwa, uh, Jwa Nawaka, light faculty and eight inseparable all together nine, nine matters. So these are nine groups produced by gamma. Normally, if we, uh, if we analyze. All these groups, we have only 80 material phenomena. So without knowing club or group, difficult for you to go make sections. I think you must understand this one. Is it difficult? No, very easy. <laughs> okay. Question? No question, right? Okay. Six groups produced by Chaita. So we have a six group pro produced by Chaita. 
So to understand the six, six groups uh, produced by Cheta, we must know the matter born of Cheta. Cheta Charupa, page number 251. Page number 251. <clears throat> Analysis by way of origins. Analysis by way of origin. Material phenomena of heart and eight faculties are born of karma. And can you see that? No, right? The analysis by way of origins. They are in the material phenomena of the heart and eight faculties are born or karma. Only born or karma. And the two media of intimation are born only of consciousness, only of chaita. Two intimation, bodily intimation and verbal intimations. So do, uh, these intimation are uh, produced by born or Consciousness or chaita. So we, we our body is moving because of chaita. And I mean speaking because of chaita. Because of chaita. So I think uh, you can uh, you, you must understand that one. Number one. Number one, two intimation uh, uh, two sorry the two media of intimation are born of only of consciousness. Then, next one. Sound is born of consciousness and temperature. Here, two. Sound is born of consciousness and temperature. You can hear the sound because of I'm mean, talking. And you can hear uh, uh, the, how to say the the tree is blow, you know, the air blow. You can hear how to say the how to say the, the branches of the tree is moving. You can hear the sound. And you can hear the air con sound like this. So these are because of temperature. Because of temperature. So sound, sorry. Sound and uh, is because of uh, Consciousness and temperature. Next one. The triple quality of lightness. So that means lightness, malleability, and weightiness, all these three arise from temperature, consciousness, and nutriment. You have to understand this one. Three are uh, lightness, malleability, and weightiness. A, uh, we call it Linus triad. Linus triad. Because of sometimes consciousness, sometimes because of nutrient, sometimes because of temperature. Then, um, the, inseparable, uh, the inseparable material phenomena. We have eight inseparable material phenomena. And the element of space arise from four causes. I think you look at that one. If you know it, very easy. So actually, we have eight inseparable matters and space element. These are because of four causes. In any group, they were constitute. But remember that space element does not constitute in the group. The reason is. Uh, in one group, one club, uh, one group of matters, there's no, no space in between. They combine together. There's no space. But between two group of matter, material phenomena, two group of mater material phenomena, space. For that reason, uh, eight inseparable, one group. Eight, uh, uh, eight, oh, sorry, eight inseparable, one group. I think better, better, better speak in, in Pali. <laughs> in English, very difficult. <laughs> Awit ne boga. I think Awit ne boga is difficult for you too. 
anyway, um, in separate eight in separate number one group, right? Because it's the uh, consciousness, sorry, consciousness chaita. It's caused by unconsciousness. Number one, eight in separate way, number one. So we have a two intimation, the media intimations are caused purely by consciousness. So you look at two media intimation, bodily intimation and verbal intimation. Two, right? Then you take one, bodily intimation. So you have to combine bodily intimation and eight inseparable. All together, nine. That's one group. So when uh, you, your body is moving, so there are a group of matter arises. That's called kaya vainyati nawaka. Kaya vainyati me, uh, bodily intimation together with eight inseparable matter. All together, nine. We have a two group, right? The first one, purely eight, uh, eight inseparable. Number two, uh, together with the bodily intimation and eight inseparable. We have a two group. And uh, you take another one, Fave intimation. Fave intimation. So when you take Fave intimation, so when I'm speaking, that is the Fave intimation. But you will hear the sound as well, right? So for that reason, Fave intimation have to combine with the sound. Fave intimation, sound, and eight inseparable. So together, ten. You got it? Number one, eight inseparable. Number one group, purely eight. Then uh, the next one, uh, two media intimation arises because of chaita. Then you take one bodily intimation, combine with the eight inseparable. So together, nine. So this is one group. And second one, vava intimation. So when we take vava intimation, then if I'm in talking, then you will hear the sound as well. For that reason, together with the sound, ten. Vava intimation, sound, eight inseparable. All together, ten. So with three groups. Another one is the uh, line net triad. Line net triad means lightness, malleability, and weediness. They come together. They come together. So those uh, line net triad arises because of three causes. Sometimes temperature, sometimes consciousness, sometimes uh, nutriment. So in that three causes, and we have a consciousness. For that reason, together with a uh, uh, line of triad, and you combine with, uh, you combine with the um, eight, eight inseparable. Three and eight, how many? 11, 11, that's one group. You just look at page number, uh, that one, you know, page number two five, uh, two five one, two five one. If you look at this one, very easy, very easy. Number one, eight inseparable, number one group. And second one, bodily intimation together with eight inseparable matter, nine, one group. The next one, when you take verbal intimation, you have to take the sound as well. Verbal intimation, the sounds, eight inseparable. That's the one group, 10. Next one, lightness. Uh, uh, the triple quality of lightness. Lightness, malleability, and weediness. So they cannot separate. So we have to take it together. We call it lightness triad. Triad is three, right? Triad. We call it uh, lightness triad, and together with eight, inseparable matter. All together, 11. That's one group. That's one group. 
Now we have a four group, right? Now, sometimes when you are moving your body, sometimes you feel light, sometimes you feel very heavy. Sometimes you feel uh, malleable, and sometimes very uh, stiff like this. So for that reason, we have to combine two medial intimation and line net triad. When you combine, there is the method. So a man two media of intimation, you take the first one, bodily intimation. Bodily intimation and line net triad and eight inseparable bed. All together, how many? Tray. All together, tray. Bodily intimation, line of triad, and eight inseparable bed. Actually, eight inseparable bed cannot be separate. So, it will, wherever you are doing, so material phenomena, whatever you call it, these eight cannot separate. For that reason, number one, bodily intimation, and line of triad, and eight inseparable matter. All together, tray. That's one group. Not difficult, you know. The last one, uh, second intimation is verbal intimation. So when you are taking verbal intimation, you have to take the song as well. Verbal intimation, the song, line a triad, a inseparable bear. All together, thirty. So there's one group. Eight group, so six group, right? Six, six group. I think you, you don't need to memorize. If you know, uh, if you know the material phenomena, bono consciousness, you know how to group, how to group. So the first one, you have to take note that eight inseparable pair and space element, so they are caused by four causes. Among four causes, consciousness is there. For that reason, uh, forget about space element, because spa space element does not constitute in the material group. It's outside of material group. For that reason, we have to take eight uh, inseparable matter. Take it one as a inseparable matter. Two medial intimation caused by purely consciousness. So for that reason, you think about two. Number one, verbal intimation. And verbal intimation together with eight inseparable way, all together, nine. That's one group. And second one, verbal intimation together with the song, then eight inseparable way, ten. All together, one group. Then uh, just, just go to the line of trial. Line of triads caught by, uh, uh, how do you say, line of triads caused because of three reasons. Sometimes temperature, sometimes cheta, sometimes nutriment. So cheta is there. For that reason, you take it line of triad and together with eight in separate way, that's one group. All together, uh, 11. Then you have to combine uh, two media intimation and line of triad. Then number one, bodily intimation, line of triads, eight in several way. So all together, three. That's one group. The next one, power intimation, sound, line of triad, and eight in several way. So all together, uh, 30, right? All together, 30. The sixth group, six club. Is it difficult? A little bit confused. <laughs> eh? Maybe I forgot to write in the, in the note. If you know it in the note, I know easier. Pure, pure order. So that I got, so that I got. Pure auto me, purely eight inseparable. Pure 
purely a uh, a inseparable thing. Sometimes material phenomena caused by consciousness only purely a inseparable thing. Number two, the bodily intimation. Then you look at bit number two. Uh, Two five five, page number two five five. Two five five. The six groups produced by consciousness. Number one, the pure or tech. So that I got. That me eight in eight in Number two. The bodily intimation, decay. Bodily intimation together with uh, eight inseparable bed, or together nine. Sorry, it's not a decay, is it? Uh, in your book, in your book, what is it? No, 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 sorry, it's a wrong. You, you, uh, you change this one, no, no net, no net. Not a decay. Because the Bodily intimation and uh, eight in separate only nine. It's not a decay. No net. Number three, the vocal intimation. Decay. So when we talk about vocal intimation together with the song and eight in separate all together ten. For that reason, it is called decay. Number four, the linet triad and decay. Eleven. Linet triads and eight in separate. So all together, eleven. Number five, so you have to combine intimation and linet triad. Number five, the bodily intimation and linet triad, do decay. Do decay. Twelve. Number six, the vocal intimation, sound, and line of triad, to decay, to decay. <laughs> Actually, the ink usage is very, uh, sometimes you cannot find the dictionary. So we have to Google it. <laughs> so these are six groups produced by consciousness. So here, what the Bidama want to say is, the material phenomena does not arise singly. So they arise in group. So within the group, there's no space. Space is, uh, space is uh, a gap between two groups or more groups. I, did, I don't need to show this one, right? Don't need to show. Any question? Is it clear? Is it important for your exam? Eh? Is it important? Important for the exam? To no, no idea. Okay, not important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm, you're right. Because I, th yeah, yeah. Three significance and manifestation of the material phenomena. When you have, your, when your body is light, and you have malleability and weediness, that is, yeah, yeah. Count as one, three and one. <laughs> three and one. I think uh, maybe can uh, can write a little bit. So sorry, I forgot to keep it in my note. First of all, two or uh, intimation, right? Two intimation is called by. By Chaita. Two intimations caused by Chaita. 
then saw and Chaita and Udu. Udu. Then uh, Lina Triad. Because of Chaita, Udu, Ahara. Then uh, eight, eight inseparable uh, and space element uh, cause uh, Cheda, oh, sorry, four, right? Four causes. Four causes. If you know this one, very easy. I think it's good that. Uh, uh, we can learn from here. Can you see? Maybe if you cannot, just stand that. Because uh, uh, when you are studying uh, uh, the group caused by ahara, nutrient, and temperature, just see this one. Very easy. So here, sorry. Here, uh, we have to take. Uh, Forget about space element because it's not uh, it's not considered as a group. But we have to start with the eight inseparable matter. That is a pure. What is it? Uh, pure. The pure order. We have eight uh, eight material phenomena. It's called um, uh, Sotateka, the pure. Or ten, number one, number one. So when you talk about next one, look at two intimation. Among two intimation, you uh, you count the first one bodily intimation. Combine with the eight inseparable, all together nine. That is the second group. So we have another intimation, vocal intimation. When you have a vocal intimation, you hear the sound. So they cannot be separated. For that reason, we have to take. Uh, we have to take um, uh, focal intimation and sounds eight in separate. We have a ten. That's a number three group. Number three group. Then we have a. Uh, we finish two intimation and we finish sound. So we have to take liner triad. Line up triad together with um, eight inseparable, all together, 11. So that is one group. That is one group. Number four, right? Line up triad and decay. Then you, you have to combine intimation as well as liners together. Bodily intimations, when you are moving your body, sometimes your body is light, malleable. And weedy. For that reason, you have to combine. Only intimation together with the liner triad and eight inseparable, all together 12. So that is called uh, the bodily intimation and liner triad dodica. Dodica means 12. Then the last one, vocal intimation. So when you are talking about vocal intimation, you have to take sounds as well. Focal intimation, sounds together with the liner triad and eight inseparable bands, all together 30. 30. This is the one group. Within that group, there's no space. So, space element is all the way outside our group. Later, we will study that space element is not considered as a group not constitute within the group. So in this way, very easy. The vocal intimation, sounds, and line of triad, to decay. You don't need to, uh, even uh, if you remember, 
So uh, how do we say the uh, material phenomena caused by consciousness easier for you? And we have a four uh, four groups caused by temperature to, uh, caused by temperatures. And you look at this one: two intimation caused because of change, no temperature, right? Forget about it. Forget about it. Then uh, uh, you look at uh, sound. Sounds is a uh, produce sometimes because of chatter, sometimes because of weather. So when the wind, uh, the wind blow, you are hear, you know, the sound of the tree, rain. You can hear um, um, the sound of uh, aircon like this. So these are the sounds because of the weather, because of the weather. So here, sound, we have a number one sound, right? The liner's triad, in the liner triad, when our Udu is one of them. So we have to think about like, uh, liner triad, liner triad. The next one, eight inseparable bay and space element. These nine are uh, caused because of four causes, produced by four causes. So the same thing, uh, you take eight inseparable as a number one. Pure, what is it? Pure octet. <laughs> Pure octet, right? Then eight inseparable number one. Number two, uh, sounds is produced by Utu. Sounds is a setup. Sound, uh, no net. Sounds together with the uh, together with the uh, eight inseparable band. Sounds plus uh, eight inseparable band. So together nine. Nine is called no net. Right, number two. We have two group. Next one, line net triad. So line net triads. Cause big, uh, because of three, three causes, Udu is one of them, temperature is one of them. So we have to, you take line at triad, and together with eight inseparable matters, all together, 11. That's one group. But next one, you combine with the sound and line at triad, and eight inseparable matters. All together, 12. <laughs> Very easy, very easy. No? We have a eight in separate purely altered. Eight, only eight. Then you combine uh, eight in separate with the sound. All together nine. That's one group. Then line that triad and eight in separate base, one group. Then you combine sounds, line that triad, and eight in separate base. One group. Four group, that's all. Then we have a two groups uh, produced by nutrient. Produced by nutrient. Then look at this one. Two intimation by only chata. There's no nutrient. Sound because of chata and putu, no nutrient. But here, line that try it. Produced by Cheta, Utu, Ahara. Here, Ahara is nutriment. Here, we have a line of triad. But eight inseparable bases and space elements, these nine, produced by four causes. Here is only two, two groups, uh, line of triad and eight inseparable bases. So eight inseparable bases, take it as a one group. Pure. Or ten, one group. Then you combine line triad with the eight inseparable bands. So together, eleven. Only two group. Very easy, very easy. But many people find it very difficult <laughs> because they are learning by heart the group. Very difficult, you know. If you learn by heart, very confusing. But if you know this one, very easy.
So uh, to talk about uh, nine groups produced by gamma, and if you know 80 material phenomena, born of gamma, very easy. We have a five sensitivity, five group, and we have a, uh, two sexual phenomena, then there's a, another two group, and heart base, a group, then we have a light faculty, and so or whatever group it is, you have to combine with the eight inseparable. That's very important. That is, at least we have a eight, cannot be separated. In the material, uh, in the mental factor also, we have a seven universal mental factor. At least you have a seven universes. They cannot be reduced. Like this, in the, in the material form, with eight. Uh, in mat but regarding with the six group produced by Cheta, you have to know this one. Two intimation caused by Cheta, sound, Cheta Utu, line triad, Cheta Utu Ahara, eight inseparable because of four causes. <clears throat> four group produced by Utu. Number one, the pure octet. The eight inseparable. The sound no net. The eight inseparable and sound. Number three, the liner triad and decad. Liner triad and eight inseparable all together eleven. Number four, the sound liner triad with two decad. Now we have a two groups produced by Utu. To understand then, we must know the matter, born or nutriment, the pure or tap, the liner triad, and, and decay. Okay? Very easy. Page number 251. <coughs> right? Hmm? Ahara. <coughs> Ahara Jarupa. Okay. Then let's go to page number 254. 254. The interne and externe. 21. Five. Previous slide. Sorry? Oh, spelling error. Sorry, sorry. Ahara, ahara, ahara should be spelling error. Copy, copy, paste. <laughs> sorry, spelling error. They should be ahara. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Then, page number 254, the interne and the externe. All 21 groups, all the material phenomena can occur in the interne. Inter interne me. Uh, in, for the living being, the living beings, as the human beings, as the animals, any living beings, it can occur 21 groups or the material phenomena. Only two groups of matters produced by temperature can arise in the external things or an animate things. Then that does not have any living life. I think this particular line is very important. So the, according to Abhidharma, according to Bodhisattva, other than living beings, uh, the tree does not have any life. life uh, they don't have any life faculties. The trees, the buildings, any and animate things, other than living beings, they have only two groups produced by temperature. The pure water, the pure water means sometimes they occur, it, uh, it occurs only uh, eight inseparable beds. Sometimes the sound no net. The sound no net means 
Sometimes you hear the sound of the trees. They don't have any intimation. They don't have any intimation. Just the sounds. They don't have any life faculty. They don't have any chaku soda kana zinwa kaya etc. They don't have any sensitivity. They don't have any sexual phenomena. They just have only two material groups. The pure or tat and the sound non tat. But of course they can make the sound. When you, when you are uh, how do you say, hacking the building, you will hear the sound. That is the sound non tat. The sound non tat. If there's no sound, just the pure or tat. Eight inseparable bits. So this particular line is very important. It talks about the Bodhisattva idea. Because the reason is in the uh, 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 I say uh, some religions they believe that the tree has life just like human beings. So according to Buddhism, no. They are just temperature bone element. Temperature bone element. Only two. The matters not constitute in the groups, outside of the group. Number one, sorry, following five matters are not constituted in any other group. I think page number, the same thing, 254. 254, summary, you can look at the summary. Number one, space element, it does not constitute in the group. It is just delimiting the group of matter. It is just a gap between groups, club. The next one, four characteristics of matter, protection, continuity, uh, impalm, decay, and death, right? We have a four characteristics of matter, protection, continuity, decay, impermanence. So these four does not constitute in any other matter, uh, any other group. So the reason is they are just manifestation of material phenomena. Uh, the material phenomena is produced. That is protection. It continue continuity. It decay, decay. It die impermanence. So they are just manifestation of material phenomena. For that reason, these falls are not constituted in the group, in the club. Page number uh, 254, yeah. 254. At the summary, 22, 20 summary. As a space demarcates, and the characteristic marks just indicate the wise state that they are not constituents of material groups. Of course, they are considered as a material group, but they are not counted in the. They are not in the in the group. Any question? No question. Okay. Yes. Finish one session. Next session, um, the occurrence of matters. In this session, so uh, it will explain about material groups, rupakalapa, that arise at the moment of rebirth or conception and during the course of conscious uh, existence in different realms. 
So we have a sense via realms, fine material realms, uh, immaterial realms, and uh, how do you say the uh, uh, so in, in different realms. So uh, we will have to learn uh, how they arise and how they cease. I think that is very important sessions to understand uh, Buddhist idea of matter, how they arise and how they cease, when they cease. So they, before we learn that, uh, we need to know four kinds of path, four kinds of path, page number. Two five five to five six. You can look at page number two five six. The first paragraph, two five six, the first paragraph. <clears throat> so we have a four kinds of path. Number one, white bone beings, white bone beings. Sansei the chap. Ambapali example. Ambapali who conceive at the mango tree. Uh, the moicha of mango tree. The mango tree at the bark there is a moicha. So Ambapali conceive at that moicha or the mango tree. Then she grow nerve. Then uh, she very beautiful. So every uh, princess want to want to get it, want to get her. For that reason, they have, uh, they are going to fight each other. But they finally they make agreement. We will not be fighting for her, but we will uh, we will enjoy. Everyone can enjoy by being a lot of money. That's called cardison. For that reason, she, she is very rich, and she donated uh, um, how do you say the monasteries in her mango group. So mango group, Ambapali. So you can uh, when you are uh, when you are reading the sotas, I think you will you will learn you know Ambapali, the Ma Ma Prinipana Sota, Ma Prinipana Sota. You can you can read about. A little bit of her life. So the Buddha accepted invitation from Ambapali. So the princess and ruling class from uh, I want to say um, um, Lake Chawi, the princess from ruling class. So they went to invite uh, Lance Dana to the Buddha, and the Buddha said that I have already accepted. Invitation of Ambapali. I think uh, it's very beautiful. The Buddha does not have any uh, discriminations. Even the Buddha accept uh, the invitation of uh, Lanch Dana by Ambapali. So actually, uh, she conceived the moicha of mango tree. <laughs> so there are a few people who, uh, even in young, uh, Myanmar histories, we have a one queen who conceived uh, the bamboo and it is said that she is very beautiful. So later she became the queen. So the king occupied her, says the queen. And some insect, like a maggot, so they are moichabon beings, moichabon beings, sanseda ja. Number two, Beings having a spontaneous path. So that means just like a Brahma, when you die, if you attain jhana, then you were born as a Brahma at once, spontaneous. So Deva, the same thing, Vedas. So if you become Vedas, you were born at once. So the beings in the hair, etc. So they were born at once. Beings have been a spontaneous path. Then, uh, number three, uh, womb, right? Womb. Womb-born beings. Jalabuja. 
human beings. So we was born in the mother's womb. Um, an animals. So they are like a dog and cat, etc. So they are um, being uh, born beings. Telapuja. And number four, act born beings. But and some animals. So they was born as a in an egg. So these are four type of uh, path. So you have to know it. You have to know it. Number one. Uh, number one, white chapon beings. White chapon beings. Uh, number two, spontaneous. The being have been uh, have been have a rebirth spontaneously. And number three, one born beings. Number four, upon beings. So here, number three and number four, both are. Uh, um born beings and act born beings are called together actually different Pali so we can translate the same thing what um born beings page number two five six two five six <coughs> so before we learn this one you have to know it In the sinship, sinship claims, page number 255. Page number 255. <clears throat> all material phenomena are obtained during the course of existence in the sinship world, Kama Loga. So we have 11 sinship realms, 11 sinship realms. All material phenomena are available during the course of existence. So we have a two period uh, at, the, at the time of conception, at the time of rebirth. So that is called Pati Sandhi. But after Pati Sandhi, it's called during the, uh, the course of existence, Pavati. Pavati. So during the course of existence, uh, all material phenomena are obtained in the sinship, sinship realms, sinsphere realms. Here, according to circumstances, accordingly, accordingly. So here, according to circumstances of me, uh, as a female, you will not get uh, masculinity. As a male, you will not get uh, femininity. So accordingly, you have to take it. As a woman, you, have, you, can, you are available only 20, 27. 20, only 27. As a boy, 27. You don't have femininity. So according to circumstances. If you apply, no eye sensitivity. No, no eye sensitivity. You, if you cannot see, no eye sensitivity. You have only 20, 26. 26. Page number 255. At the time of rebirth linking, so we, we, we just learned that during the course of existence, so all 28 uh, material phenomena are obtained in the sensphere uh, realms. Here, at the time of rebellion, at the time of rebellion, look at page number 255. To bone beings, Sansita Jap. Mwaichabon, just like Ambabali, just like a Makkat. And beings have been a spontaneous path. Obapadika. Spontaneous path, just like a Brahma, Deva, Beta, etc. To, uh, to those beings, they arise at most, at most, the seven dikas, seven dikas. The dikas of I, but here, dikas of I mean we have a ten material phenomena. I, 
sensitive T, like faculties, eight inseparable bands, altogether ten. For that reason, it's called the decas of I. And the decas of E, the same thing, we were ten. And the, the decas of nose, the decas of ten, decas of body, and decas of sex, and decas of heartbeat. So that means the beings who was born spontaneously, just like a devas, then you imagine as a devas, they have the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and sex, and heartbeat. Here, at most, then you underline at most. That's very important one, at most. Seven decades. <clears throat> As a minimum, that's very important. As a minimum, sometimes uh, the decade of eye, and the, uh, the decade of ear, the ear decade, nose decade, and such decades are not obtained. Sometimes, if they are blind, no, there's no, no the eye ticket. If you cannot hear, no ear ticket. If you cannot smell, there's no. Actually, smell me. Even though you have a nose, if you cannot smell, so that means you don't have a nose sensitivity. And you have a sex ticket. Some people do not have a, any sex material phenomena. Just like a, uh, uh, just like a, uh, the being who was born for the first time in this planet, in this planet, so they they was born from uh, from the Brahma. They come from the Brahma realm. There's no such a phenomena. So only for some time because of the food. So those such a phenomena arises. Sometimes, as a minimum, the eye, ear, nose, sex decay, decays are not obtained. So they cannot be obtained. At the time of conception, at the time of conception, to the womb-born beings, Kapaseyaka, they arise three tickets, three tickets. The tickets of body, the tickets of sex, and the ticket of heartbeats. Three tickets, three tickets. So that means human beings, as a human beings or animals, who are the womb-born beings, so uh, they arise three tickets. The body, at least, at least, the body, they have a body, and there is sex, and they have a uh, heart base. So when we are talking about body, that means 10 material phenomena. That's group, not just body, it's a, a group of material phenomena together with the body. Body, like consciousness, uh, like faculty, and eight inseparable bands. That's called body ticket and uh, sex decades. You hear sex me, sometimes if you are male, male decades. If you are female, female decades. And happies, at least three. So we have a uh, body decades, uh, uh, sex decades, and heart decades. All together, 30 material phenomena can arise as a human beings, as animals, who was born in the mother's womb, at least 30. That's very important, that's very important. <clears throat> so according to Buddhism, according to Buddhism, life start at the conception in the mother's womb. Sometimes the sex ticket is not obtained, just, as I, just like I, as I said. Some people does not have any sexual phenomena. 
very rare, very rare. But uh, uh, for the human being who was born for the first time in the, on this planet, no such a phenomenon. You cannot say that they are male or female. Just human beings. <clears throat> So that, that me at least a uh, body decat and harpies, harpies. Thereafter, at the conception, after conception, after rebirth, during the course of existence, during the course of existence, me after rebirth, consciousness, gradually there arise the eye decat, the ear decat, etc. and so forth. So Bita Mata Sangha just give this one very in brief. It does not mention in detail. So I say human beings or animal who has born in the mother's womb. So there will be three decades body decad, sex decad and harpies decad. Sometimes the sex ticket is not available, not obtained, at least two, right? Body ticket and heart ticket. Then after that, during the course of existence, after rebuttling in consciousness, then gradually there arise eye, ear, nose, etc. <clears throat> so here, I want to explain a little bit Based on commentaries, based on commentaries. The Indaka Soda from Sauda Nikaya, you can read by yourself, chapter 10, Soda number 1. So in that Soda, one of the Yaka, Yaka is a, how do you say that, Oka or demon, the demon, ask the question to the Buddha. Actually, I bring, I bring the book. So that uh, easier for easier to read. Actually, um, his question his question is that uh, I will read out a little bit. As the Buddha say that form is not the soul. Form here rupa is not soul. Soul. The Buddha always say that form. Or rupa is not so. How then does one obtain this body? Actually, uh, as you all know that uh, they believe through your soul. Because of soul, you obtain a body. They cannot accept, very difficult to accept. Even right now, other, other than Buddhist, the people from other religions, so for them, very difficult to accept the idea of anatta, the idea of non-self, because they have a strong belief in the self. Here also, how then does one obtain this body? From where do one's bones and liver come? Bones and liver, from where they come? How is one begotten in the one? Actually, uh, the dev, uh, the yaka, or demon, asks the question. You always said that form is not a soul. How you obtain the body in the mother's womb? The Buddha answered this one. This is a, what the Buddha taught in the Sound of Nikaya. First, there is the kalala. You understand? <laughs> you do not understand. <laughs> From the Kalala comes a Buddha. <laughs> Don't worry, I will explain later. <laughs> because if these are technical terms, and then even Bhikkhubari, actually a translation of Bhikkhubari, he didn't translate the Pali word, but in his note, he explained what is Kalela, according to commentary. From the Abuddha, the Pesi is produced. From the Pesi, 
that cannot arise. For me, I understand in, uh, in Burmese, uh, hold on. I understand in meaning there, but uh, I will use bigger body translation. From the kana, in March, the limbs, actually we use the word, uh, sorry, we use the word basaka in Pali, better to use basaka. Anyway, bigger body use the limbs. Uh, the hair, the head hair, body hair, and knees. From the kana, in March, the limbs. From the limbs, the head hair, body hair, and knees in March. And whatever food the mother eat, the meat, drink that she consumes, by this, the being there is maintained or sustained. The passing inside the mother's womb. We do not know according to, according to uh, medical science, so according to this, uh, the Buddha explained the process of uh, how do they, how do you say the, what is it, rebirth in the mother's womb, the progress of a fetus in the mother's womb. Okay, so I think uh, let's uh, go to the, I, I will explain according to Bhikkhu Bori uh, explanation. <coughs> I think better use my Burmese note. <laughs> I think you can read yourself, Bekubori explanation. I think uh, for me, I will use my Burmese note. So actually, uh, the commentary mentioned uh, depend on weeks. The first week, as you all know that, uh, according to Bodhisattva, Light began at the conception of the mother's womb. That's very important, very important. Number one, in the first week, Kalala. Kalala is a, uh, a tiny drop of a liquid. A very tiny drop of liquid. So the commentary mentioned that uh, there is uh, there is a, uh, how do say, a type of animals is uh, like a cow. So his uh, hair are very, how do you say, very fine and also very, uh, how do you refine that. Um, um, very tiny, very tiny, very smooth. Then you trick that tiny hair or that, that animals uh, uh, in the cooking wine, on the wine, then you take it out and a tiny drop of liquid will stay in the, in, in the air, hair, hair of the animals. So here, Kalalami, a tiny liquid that appear in the, uh, uh, on the tip of hair of anime. So actually, the commentary want to mention is so tiny that you cannot, uh, even in the naked eye, you may not be able to see it. Tiny liquid. But in that tiny liquid, we have body, uh, body, what is it? Uh, uh, Body decay, sorry. We have a body decay, 10 material phenomena, and we have heart based decay, and that another time, uh, 10 material phenomena, and we have a sex decay, another 10, altogether 30. 30 material phenomena constitute in that tiny liquid. That is called Kalala. The first week, the first week. In the second week, um, second week, there is Apuda. 
So according to commentary, a Buddha is a, also a, 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 type, a type of liquid, <laughs> type of liquid, just like when you wash, uh, uh, when, you, when you wash a meat, uh, especially the, uh, when you wash um, matan, uh, matan, when you wash matan, then you, you see some, uh, how to say, uh, liquid. It's not clear, not crystal clear. But Galala is crystal clear. But in second week, it became, uh, how to say, just like a liquid uh, when you wash uh, matan or meat. So that is the second week. And third week, basic. Basic now became like a flesh. Uh, how to say, uh, a, how to say, the basic is a, um, uh, hmm? flesh, how to say that, uh, huh? tissue. No, no, this <laughs> No, we are not using that one. But, uh, you know, um, back when Beku Bori mentioned that, uh, which is similar to Martin Tin, uh, Martin Tin, Martin, Martin Tin. Mm, mm. Yeah. Basi is the, uh, how do you say the type of small flesh, type of small flesh. A very, how do you say, very soft, very soft, very soft. So that is the third week, third week. In the fourth week, fourth week, it became Gana. But here, Gana me a little bit getting uh, harder, getting harder. Can I see? Actually, later I will maybe in my note, then I will write in details and I will explain. I think uh, it will be better. But here, Kanami, uh, it became harder, harder. A type of flesh, uh, but it became harder. Then, after fifth week, and in March, the limbs, Begu body translated the limbs, the limbs. So in that lens, uh, how do you say, the tiny, um, the mark, huh? the mark for the head, and also uh, two hand and two leg. Five, yeah? Yeah, we, um, uh, we are explaining about fetus. Now you can see five um, small tiny flesh or limbs. So in that lens, uh, you cannot see very clearly, but uh, they uh, only say the potential to become the head and two, two hand and two leg. So that is uh, the fifth week. And sixth week, sixth week, and seven, nine, uh, eight, nine, and ten. So that lens growing, growing. And 35 days is growing. Then 11 week, 11, 11th week. Then uh, I'm, I'm decad, ear decad, gradually appear. Uh, I, ear, nose, ten, uh, and not ten, they gradually appear. Only 11 weeks. According to commentary, only 11 weeks. So I appear. I decat, ear decat, nose decat, and tongue decat, they appear. So actually, that is a, uh, what the Buddha taught is very brief. The commentary mentioned in detail. Kalalami, a tiny liquid, very crystal clear so tiny that you may not be able to see with your uh, naked eye. And second one is from that uh, crystal clear liquid, then uh, I want to say there is a, also a type of liquid, but uh, not clear. When you watch a meat, 
uh, just like the water, the water you, you see, the color of the water. Then after that, they see a small, tiny flesh, very soft, very soft. Then after that, a tiny flesh, but became harder, became harder. In the fifth week, uh, you, 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 you can see the limbs. Fifth week, you can see the limbs. So in that lens, uh, there is a matter, a potential to become the head, and two legs, and two, uh, two hands. Then after 11 weeks, eye, ear, nose, turn, uh, then appear gradually. So that is a uh, current documentary. So I think if you see this one, so you will see that what the Buddha taught is very I want to say, in brief, the commentary trying to clarify. The Buddha said that wherever food the mother eat, the meat drink that she consumes, find this, the being there is maintained or sustained. The passing in that is a mother one. Then uh, the continuity of matter. In this way, the continuity of material groups here, kalapa, produce, we have 21 kalapas, produce in four ways, four causes. Number one, kamawa material groups arises from the time of rebirth linking consciousness. Number two, consciousness born material phenomena or uh, material groups arises at the time of the first light continuum. Temperature born material phenomena arises from the time of the state of presence or the rebirth linking consciousness. Nutriment born material groups arises from the time of diffusing or nutrimacins. So they are continuity of material phenomena. Page number 256, page number 256, that is very important. And, interrupt, and interruptedly flow on in the sense sphere till the end of life. Continuity of material phenomena, flow on. Like the flame of a lamp. So when you light a candle, there is a flame of light. Actually, it arises, appear, disappear, arises, disappear, but we do not notice. So just like that, we do not notice. It flows on, arises, sees, rises, sees like this. And the stream of a river, that is sort of weird. Stream of the river, the river flow, the water flow in the river. Just like that, material phenomena flows on, arises and sees, arises and sees. So that is the nature of material phenomena. And then these lines are very important. It talk about impermanent nature of matter and rupa. And interrupted,ly no interruption, it flows on. For that reason, in uh, Visori Maga mentioned that just phenomena alone roll on. Just phenomena. Phenomena here me, mental phenomena and material phenomena. They just arises, cease. Arises, cease. Flow on. There's no soul, no creator God. Clearly said that no creator God. So they arise in their own way. Even the Buddha cannot do anything. Just phenomena alone flows on. Any question? I think next week we will finish uh, this chapter because the, uh, after learning a few, few things, then we'll go to Nepal.
go to Nepal. Let's go to Nepal together. <laughs> question? No question. Uh, without linking, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Kalala is a combination of 30 material phenomena for womb-born beings, together with the uh, mental phenomena, mental phenomena. Okay, I think let's, let's close our lessons. Okay, thank you everyone.